three, nope, hang on. Three, two, one, go. Nope. <sighs> three, two, one, go. Yo, what's going on? It's Sonic Gamer 2727 here. Bringing you guys a speedrun of Super Mario 3D Land. It's been such a long time since I've ran this game. So Cosmic D12's run at EGDQ, or yeah, EGDQ this year. And said, I want to play this game again. Mm, 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 mm. So I, I, I did like a miniature off-screen run yesterday or two days ago. It was a decent time. When's it like fantastic or anything? As well as I actually set world created Mario Kart DS retro tracks yesterday. If you guys uh, check me a comment on Instagram, like Tommy saw it. You guys seen that? See we got verified. I broke it by wow, I no. <sighs> so uh, I made sure optimization and it's just going 10 seconds throughout the course of the run. Is tapping the level select on the bottom screens faster? And uh, you'll see the movement relatively shortly here, how the movement works, and it lights fast. So that's called the, uh, that's like, uh, dang it. Alright, I already right, messed up. This is the main power-up in the game, the Tanuki Leaf. I will be grabbing it right away. Grabbing actually a two, and actually I'm grabbing one in this level, never mind. I'll be only be grabbing one in this particular level, but uh, I want it in every stage in the run. It's the best power-up in the game. And uh, it, it just saves a lot of time. Except when you use it incorrectly multiple times in a row. Finally, that took longer than it should have. I will be messing around with the camera throughout this round, trying to figure out where's a good position for it. So I'm still not entirely sure on where I want the camera. Now, uh, at this point, I'm really not going for world record. I'm kind of just going to break my PB of like one hour and 16 minutes. Of my recorded PB. So in that block is a Tanuki Leaf, so if this was like a marathon or something, or like, or like a race. Oh, Jesus. Hardest route in the run, grabbing the pole. Maybe if I sit like farther away, that'll look better. Maybe if I like raise it up more. Yeah, that's a little bit better. You have to hold it, like, sorry if you guys, like, see, I don't want to show you guys like that, though, throughout the run. But you might get that at some point, if it's, like, a tough stage. And uh, if any, if anybody wants to start running this game, uh, uh, I might, no guarantees, but I do want to start a series that I might actually start recording very soon on how to speedrun this game. It might be, like, one level a day or one level every other day. Or maybe like one a world uh, a week or something. And I might be going through the process of how to speedrun this game individually. Because there's not that many active runners of it right now. And I, and I hope to be able to say I'm an active runner of this game again. Because I know I haven't been recently, but oh, come on, get off there. And I, I want to be able to become more of an active runner. Don't make fun of my mashing skills, they're complete and total trash, okay? So tapping the bottom screen is actually faster than just, um... Let's say this, okay, cool. Oh, wow! Dumbest bonk I think I've ever had in the game. I have, like, never had that bonk in my life. And you guys know, I've been, like, not an active runner of this game, but I've ran this game in the past. You guys know that, if you guys follow along with me. Like a year ago, I uploaded a run of this game. Yay! A good room, finally! A good one of those rooms. There's a few of those throughout the run today. That one was finally a flawless run. So, uh, this is the any percent category. If I didn't introduce myself, which I can't believe I wouldn't have by now, uh, I'm Sonic Gamer 277. And uh, this is the any percent category of this game, and you might be wondering why, if it's any percent, why am I going around collecting star medals that are called in this game? Because you need 100 to unlock the final level, even at any percent. So, even though this is the any percent route for this game, you still have to collect 100 star medals, so I'll be collecting the 100 fastest star medals in the game. 
And I'm um, taking those for the final boss. Actually, that's not a bad camera angle, yo. Alright, this isn't one of the harder run stages in the entire run, in my opinion. There's a relatively new developed strat that I'm just not consistent with yet. So I'm not doing it. I'm doing the old newbie strats from like two years ago, still. I'm not even going for the block jump. Like another new strat. I prefer so long jumping like over these and like I'm I'm still a giant nub with this with this particular like level. Like the new strats they don't even do that now. They just don't even hit that block ever. And then they just kind of so uh, right here, we're just gonna ground pound and get this leaf. We're gonna get this money. And then we're just gonna kinda, you know, do some fast movement across. So uh, there's, there's actually a relatively newer strat that doesn't even grab like that, that, that switch at all. You don't even hit it. You just long jump and wall kick a bunch. It's really hard. And, <laughs> I don't even know if it's hard or not. I just have not gotten around to trying it enough yet to, to see, how good it, it, uh, see how good it is right now. I'm really, this is kind of more ca a casual run. I get to, get to show you guys that I'm running this game again, and hopefully get to get a better PB recorded. Hopefully, it's gonna be hard to get a worse PB. Okay, so you do have to mash a little bit of text in this game. That's pretty much the only text mashing in the game. And uh, we, so these are required levels to get a star medal in them. If they weren't required, would we go into them? Maybe. I forgot about that text mashing for a few seconds. <laughs> forgot I had to mash more text. So coming up here is the first, pretty much, movement-based glitch in the run. And the only one in the run. The only real kind of fake glitch. It's not even a real glitch. But it's called hyperspeed, and you'll, you'll kind of see what it is. Relatively, wow. Oh, wow. Trash. So, okay, Mario, just no long jumps? All right. So there's that star metal, and uh, we're going to long jump off of that and hold the directional input of right, and we're going to go really, really fast. Like, there I, I stopped all my momentum because I just, just going too fast, but uh, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. We saved that. And now for the next trick that I fail, like 90% of the time I go for it, which I just did again, which is grabbing that star metal. And uh, we're gonna fall down, and we're gonna get hit, we're gonna lose it, because now we can move faster via doing that. That is faster, and you can't do that with the little hat on your head, so uh, you wanna lose the hat. There's the time, guys, just so you guys can see it. And yes, that's my phone. I'm actually recording with an iPod. Well, sorry if the recording looks like really, really... Oh, God. Now, go there. Sorry if the recording looks kind of bad-ish. It's being recorded by iPod 5, so I don't know how bad it might look. But uh, this is the only way I could, like, record the hour-ish run that this game actually is. There's actually a Tanuki suit in that particular block right there. Oh, whoops, I was actually doing good. And I'm not used to doing good. So this is a run. And uh, if you watched my older run, you knew, or any older run, you knew I used to go ahead and grab a star metal right there. I'm just gonna kill this guy. But, uh, we ignore that star metal now for a different one later in the run. Alright, cool. That was actually kind of not bad for how bad that, that looked. So right now, I'm 100% ahead of my older run because that's faster than doing it the old strat. Old strat! You, you went up there and you took that, that music block and you got a coin up there. But that, that's pretty similar to actually routed out somehow. I don't really know why that was ever in the route. So we're gonna a coin we skipped at one point. Oh, yeah, right, I gotta click that one, and then I can click over this one. Alright, so this one is a mini, like, if you're really good, turn it off, you're, like, Cosmic E12 level, you can actually skip this entire auto-scroller, and you basically play the entire level blind. I I'm not that good, so I will not be doing that, but I, I will be quiet, though, because I do need to listen. Alright, cool. So that's slow, but still fast. So like that, like, everything I'm doing right now is it's slow. Dang it. Cool, okay. Get off there. Get off, Mario. Get down. Eh. 
first uh, attempt of doing that in a run. And you know what? Ah, oh, forgot about that. that. That gets me almost every single run. But uh, to be completely honest, it's not as bad as I thought that would go. To be 100% honest. So right here, you're going to see me uh, kind of... Uh, so this is the fastest. As long as not the fastest movement in the game. It also works to guaranteed to uh, hit Boom Boom. I'm just going to count back before over Boom Boom because we can. And then we're just going to kind of go ahead and hit Boom Boom. And then we're just going to kind of long jump down here to this corner. Uh, every enemy in this game is pretty much controllable. There is little to no RNG at all in the run. Uh, I can barely think of any RNG. And I keep killing him like right here. Saves no chat at all, but it's kind of funny. Now, if we do this strap perfectly, we'll get some really... Oh, yo, we actually do that strap perfectly. Let's go. That is actually not as easy as it looks. 1035, I think, goes on the pull grab, by the way. Just in case you guys want to know. That was actually kind of good. I have never gotten that that strat actually where you, you don't hit the the ground for the pull. I always always go for it because I just miss. But uh, fast strats, boys. We're record pace, even though we're on a crap run. Yeah. Well, you guys, you do little wiggles, you guys. I know. All right, there you go. You guys start to move around a little bit. So yeah, I, I hope that like Cos Cosmic Katie, that's not her name, Cosmic D12. I don't know why I call you Katie. I'm gonna like crack in her. If you happen to catch this run, hi. You, you really inspired me to pick up this game again. I hope you see this run on speedruns.com. So uh, I'm gonna have to like aim cannon shots that are really precise. Okay, that cannon that. All the cannon shots in this game look a lot harder than they actually are. Uh, uh, sorry, they look a lot easier than they actually are. Like that, if I miss that, that is like a little, that's like a, like a decently major time loss if I missed that. And that was all so bad. So now, you guys might be wondering why I'm going this direction. It's because there's a, one of these guys over here. And anyway, if you're wondering why would I want that, if you guys only have ever played this game casually, you wouldn't know that this is a skip. Right there is a platform. There's that platform, and there's how you get it here. And now, even though we're at the finish, we're just going to want to go right back in, actually. And then fly up here and grab that. Now, a funny story is that one of my uh, people that uh, I... I so I'm, in, I'm in the school band, and one of the drummers that I play with... Oh my gosh, one of my... Oh god, that was bad. One of my teachers thought he was so much like a drummer, not percussionist. Uh, I, I was... Uh, Playing this before, some, before class today, and he asked me if he could try, and he chose that level, and he played it like normally. Actually, not bad for like a normal playthrough that stage. And then I showed him how to do it fast, and he just kind of looked at me like, "How? How did you? All right, we're gonna get this. That is not RNG for a very long time. I thought that was RNG. That's not RNG. That's always there. All right, that should be a good angle. So water is slow in this game, so we're just gonna kind of do above ground movement to our force to go in. To the water because it's slow and you never want to take it and then we're just gonna get slowed by that and then we're gonna want to use that slope for extra range and then we're gonna do that and then we're gonna ground pound we're gonna break that brick and then we're gonna see it start swimming and then we're gonna grab a ring with our tail and then we're gonna get up here and then we're gonna long jump flutter because water is slow in this game for some odd reason and then get it in this little hole nope nobody say it nobody in the comments say it nobody say it this is a pg channel besides that one video where Bryce swore Get out of the... Jesus, that was bad. So we're gonna see a little crouch fall. Crouching while falling is faster. And there's like very few places in the run where you get to use it. And that's just like one of like the fun places that I kind of implemented it. It's fun. Crouch fall. Uh, we're risking it for the biscuit. We are risking it! Oh god, we actually got in there. I was expecting to get hit. And then in like two levels from now, I'm gonna pick up a backup leaf. So happy I didn't though. Pick up that metal. And now for a funny little skip that- wow, I did- I didn't- I just wanted to go on the pipe. Now for a funny skip that you guys might not know if you just ever played skip casually. And uh, you- you always had to like, race against the giant eel here to get to the top, right? We're just gonna kind of press up in this corner. And if the game would let me go in, you can actually just- Well, that was really bad because I got stuck in the wall. But we're still ahead of our recorded BB by a few minutes. Well, actually, we're kind of probably behind it right now, but, uh... Very soon, we'll be ahead of it once I die a lot and keep coming levels in the run. 
I mean, for a while, the world record run had a death in it. Cosmic Katie, till around a month and a half ago, he had a death in his world record run. So I'm not that upset by time right now. I'm actually kind of making a decent pace. Alright, so this is one of the more technical levels in World 3, at least. But it had a recently new develop, two actually recently new develop strats that were not in this game when I last ran it. When I last ran this game. One is, you actually don't do that. That's the old strat. There's a new strat to get that faster. I'm no good at it. I can't even figure out how to do it yet, so. That's a, that's a common theme you hear is, new strat, still can't do it. Because I'm an old school runner of this game. And by that I mean, just an older runner of this game. Just remember, if you guys do want to start running this game, just reach out to me. Reach out to really any of the runners for this game. They're, they're all amazing people, and uh, they all want more people to run this game. So, you know, they, they also want people that are not as bad as me to run this game. Now, collecting time is slow, because you then have to... Oh, God, I forgot about this trick. This is the hardest trick I think. Uh... Throw your medal! No, nope, you know, I'm just gonna wait it. It's slower. I'm not I'm not risking it. You can just jump directly off and do a tail whack and grab it. But uh I, I don't have balls of steel yet. If I was going for WR, yes, you go for that trick. It saves time. Jesus, do I not have balls of steel yet? Yahoo! It's a me, a Mario time. Yes, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. It's a me, an Italian plumber. It's the stage of a relatively big skip. So I guess one thing I should say, this game really isn't glitchy. It's just, you use the Snooky Leaf to skip everything in the game. And that's really all there is to this r the run. But there's also a faster strat to this. Why don't I do it, you might ask? Alright, there we go. That was a decent Goomba. Yeah, Goomba bounce, let's go! So right here, we're gonna go for a funny little... Ah, alright. I got scared I was going to miss it, so I kind of backpedaled. Now I know you're supposed to get that metal in the route. I just don't like it. I Goomba that you sometimes don't appear. I made an entire video about that one Goomba. Alright, that was slow, but we'll take it. No, Piapo! Yapido! We are Camario and we are going slow. Yeah, we're going slow. We're Mario and we're slow. We're at Slowpoke. Shout out to Pokemon. Best franchise ever created. Unless we don't like it. I'm sorry. This is a cycle based level. My voice just said no to me right there. Wow. Yeah, this is a cycle based level that pretty much depends on a few major things, not all that many. Basically, there are these giant things that, uh, come out and try to, uh, skewer you. And that was slow, I actually was on a good cycle. Alright, cool, we're just gonna not even try for that on the strat. So we're gonna land on that block, then we're gonna skip over here, we're gonna then jump over there, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna stop. Last little bit of World 3. <laughs> Dang it. Are we going to leave before 2? I don't think so. Yo, I don't think I get a leaf now for like... One stage. Yeah. That one leafless stage is not even that bad without a leaf because we have a, a propeller block head on. So it's actually a faster death animation too. 
Oh, oh, I was right. Dang it. That's one thing I've always been bad with that in this game, is actually remembering where the gold rings, like, where, not where the gold rings, but where those, like, those pipes spawn. Alright, cool. That, that's always a scary part. Yo, we actually made that strat too. Let's go! We are hitting over oh, 24 right now. Sorry, 20, 20 minutes and 8 seconds and 9 seconds. And I'm just gonna bring this in front so you guys can see it. We are making, uh, um, strats. We're like two minutes behind the world record. Three minutes, five minutes ish. But, hey. In my opinion, hardest, most stressful, maybe. World done with. Not the most stressful stage. And that comes in World 8 where you have only one Dimitri leave. And it's, uh, 8 6. Oh, that stage is stressful. Jump, you Italian blubber! I wish you guys could see my face right there. Yup, you would tell you blue ball. The best part is I actually wasted no time like getting it right there because I don't waste any time picking up the next leaf. The next leaf is actually like free, you get it regardless, so it's fine. And that was intended for a long jump. Oh, well, okay then. Oh, So now we're just going to want to come here. We want to bounce. Ah. Uh, also, if you guys watched my Elder Speaker and you knew, I used to grab... That. That. Also a note block. For a speech strat. We don't do that anymore. So there's two... There's effectively three... Two star mills I got. Dang it, dude. Alright, that's slow, but fine. It makes me move faster once I reach the top, then, I guess. Get up! Makes up for a bat go faster, but so slow. Um, so a miniature optimization I did before the run even starts was, um, choosing a me with a black shirt, which you guys might have seen because, uh, my mess lips is a full run even at the start. Is that I chose me with a black shirt. And that's because in this particular mystery house, there are going to be a cool one, and you get like double, you get four lives, as well as, I think there's a lot in there, no, wrong. As well as a fire flower and a tanuki leaf, as well as two star medals. So it really helps the routing for this game, for one, and for two, helps just the overall uh, progression of the game. And in this level, there is a, another warp, and I'm going to be quiet, because this is kind of a tough stage. Alright, already bad. So we're going to grab a star metal back here. Come over here, dodge them. Up here, walk up here. Up there, walk it up here. Go unseen by the Goombas. Get pee pee not too far. Do the noob strat, because that's the strat that we still use. Come up here, wall kick. Ironically, bonking lets you drop faster. So I'd slide that time in for you guys. Actually, the sad thing is you actually can't pause recordings on the iPod 5 Touch. So I can't, like, use this just to record my videos still. So I'll have to use my phone for that. So, sadly, this is only a good solution for longer speedruns. Or, like, not for, like, just having a lot of video space. This is like my older iPod Touch I like never use anymore, so I just wiped everything off of it and it's now their video camera. Sorry if the quality's a little bit lower, a little awkward. Sorry if I sound weirder. But it only is fair because my original speeder under this game was known as my mom's iPad Mini. So being able to now kind of return that and be back on an Apple device for speeder on this game. We're going to try to. Yeah! Slow, but still the intended strat. 
Now we have a miniature auto scroll here that this is like one of two in the game you can't skip. And I guess the funny thing to, to know is we're just gonna kind of make a flower up here. And uh, this is a time where I can talk. There's nothing going on for a while now. So uh, how's everybody's uh? How's it be going? This is, uh, it's really funny. Please, guys, if you want to pick up this game, reach out to like anybody in the. Wow, I I swung my tail. I swung it. I missed, but I swung it. I'm actually gonna sneak. No, I don't want it yet. Do I? Uh, I don't. I don't think. This is hard because it's like I want. I might take the power up like right at the end of this level for a damage boost. We'll see. I might pick it up like now. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up now actually. So because now I am uh, short my power up, I'm gonna pick it up because now I can just kind of use it and waste me like I don't now if I get hit it's not like I lose my my only other leaf so it's kind of fun if I wanted to take use like this power up now I can just like goof around like drawing boomerangs everywhere and like showing off like this game's like even like only new power up I'm just gonna take the hit because I actually don't care about the power up like at all like that's the thing is I don't care about the power up so it's like I can just take a hit All right, cool. All right, I've got two stages to go without getting any power up. One being dangerous. One, if I don't fail horribly, it should be fine. Like this next stage, my likeliness of getting hurt on it's not very high. The stage to follow that, I could get hit on it very easily. Yeah, we know that's. I think that's RNG. I'm not sure if getting that text there is usual or not. It might be RNG. I don't know. So right here, I'm gonna pop my leaf instantly. I want it because it's fast and useful for like everything in this game. Being why grabbing that, why, why getting hit there is bad. So just like don't. Me grabbing the um the boomerang suit, I only did that because I got hit. So I had the extra power up slot. So I grabbed it. Uh, I would never recommend grabbing that. Okay, I'm just gonna play it safe here. I I, I don't have another power up, so I'm just gonna kind of play it safe here and just kind of. Casually hop over it instead of like actually trying to go fast because I am in danger. And then that jump is kind of bad. That, that's a sad part if you don't have it. Alright, one more stage with one Tanuki. Yep! Woo! Here we go. Alright, we got one more level with one Tanuki suit and then we get a second one. And not be so darn scared about only having one. Because, I'm not going to lie, when you only have one Tanuki suit in this game, like, you feel, like, nervous. Like, you're sweating your palms out. So if you guys also are having trouble learning the routes for this game, sadly, this is the end percent category, so I can't be like, oh, don't worry, you're any percent then. But it, it shouldn't be that hard. I, I picked it up fairly quickly. Then again, I, I, I learn a lot of things fairly quickly. So yeah, just grabbing star medals with your tail is faster because, all right, cool. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that. Then I whack him. And you want to come down there and then you grab it and then you fail horribly and then you get to. So you can do a lot of like riskier stuff on this particular stage. If I had a second leaf, I might, because I do get a second one, and then I get I get, I get another one in the next little stage. But uh, the the amount of risky stuff that you can do in the stage is pretty much RNG. Funny glitch, I didn't get it. You can actually kind of somehow grab that star metal being on the stole kind above it. So I hate hurting these moles, because like pretty much you invade their house, and then you walk in and hurt them. Also, you want to take the second pipe here, I believe. If you want to get top of the pole, the fourth pipe's your, your man. Also, that flagpole just disappears. That one, that's the only pull in the game. I think that it doesn't matter where you actually grab it. That could have sounded weird. But I think that's the only one in the game. It doesn't matter where you choose to grab it because it always teleports down to you. So it's a really, really weird, uh, oriented pull. That Toad House gives you a boomerang suit, so that one's not where we were planning on getting our next leaf. It's actually in this stage that so doesn't look like it have a leaf in it. Well, it looks like it'd be like completely centered around the leaf, but, uh... It's actually another one of these levels, and and guess what, guys? 
the only other instance of hyper speed is later in on later on on this particular stage. So, oh god, no. Oh, I was on such a good run, and I thought I was just gonna die right there and then lose my my backup leaf. And I was just you're gonna hear a, you're gonna hear a, a guy cry on camera, guys. You would have heard me start bawling my eyes out and then not even uploading this video. But, oh god, go 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 go. Okay. We're gonna grab this checkpoint because I don't feel confident in this level at all. I could also like very easily like miss the next star medal and then have to like kill myself to like reset this. But at this point, I don't think there's a backup star medal at this point in the run. Come on, jump already. Jump so I can like do that too and then like grab your leaf. And for hyper speed, we're going to jump. And hold the direction and gain a lot of speed really quickly. And then we're gonna do this because we, we're, we're scaredy cats. And then we're gonna back up so we can see where the star metal is. Alright, cool. Alright, that stage is pretty much done now. Whew. If you guys ever watched, uh, uh, Cosmix run of that stage in particular on the world record current. He doesn't even get the glider at that. He doesn't use glider coin. He just jumps off and then he just flies, grabs something off his tail, and lands on the very end of the uh, the platform. And I am trying to do that more frequently. No, bad RNG rip. I know that is RNG. Alright, so since I'm skipping those two, I get that medal on this stage. And then I get that medal on that stage. And then that should be all the medals I skip, right? Because he gives that medal, but I don't lose a medal to grab that one. Because he skips it and grabs that, and I don't. Alright, I'm just like running through because I'm used to having 54 medals coming here. But there's been a recently new route. And I'm trying to like use a new route because it's faster and all. And I'm just like terrified because I only have 52 medals and I'm supposed to have 54 here. So I'm just like trying to make sure I'm like doing this route correctly. So if you guys watch my other rounds, I didn't grab that medal. I almost didn't grab it there and I almost had to replay it on the stage because there's no backup medals. Yeah, I just hit something that just ended there. Oh god, bonk! I'm sorry if you guys feel like this is a mix of emotions, but, uh, this game is very stressful. It's, it's very comparable to Mario 64 in that kind of a way. How it's like every little movement counts. And uh, here's Tanuki Bowser. If you thought that, uh, 3D Land, 3D World was the first time that Bowser put on a power-up. So we're just gonna kind of wait here. What Bowser? Jump there. Oh, shoot, I might be dead. We're gonna pop that even though it's like it's it's, it's yeah. <sighs> There's actually some crazy rat that gets hit twice in this stage. It lets them skip the store faster and you get by like twice by Bowser. I don't even know why they would do that strat or how they do that strat. To make it fast, but uh yeah. So that, that strat's kind of like entirely fine because the timer still clicks for it, so uh we're just gonna uh, fly that direction. And then we're just gonna do a short little wheat. 33, 39, 30, 40. Yeah, that's our time right now. Oh, this is a close call run. Where's my next medals? And like two stages again. This run is just like a constant mix of where's my next Tanuki suit and am I not, um, and am I about to die? Break, breathe, break, breathe. I said break. This run's very stressful. It's a lot more stressful than Mario Kart, let's say that at least. Ah, big plot twist. Peach is fighting back, boys. Mmm. 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 Hopefully I'm not shaking my entire desk. Because that would include the... Alright, cool. So the next level gets some relief. So I got to not get hit in this stage. Uh, if you ever had nightmares about the boardwalk levels in past Mario games... Then you can bonk your face right there. 
Alright, I was going for it. You can get a leaf there, and I would have been so happy. How do I just gotten a lucky leaf? So I'm playing this very safe because I only have one leaf. Usually, you know, I go faster, but I can't run. Shoot. 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 Crap! No! We're gonna do a soft reset. That's what that was. That was called the soft reset. That was bad, but uh, I can't believe I died there. Like, I can't lose my leaf in that stage. Like, I cannot lose my leaf. So I to lose it on that stage in particular. That's the first time I had to die. But that's why this game's got a soft reset built into it. Which is so nice when you're trying to do fast strats and you mess up and you soft reset instantly. Mario, you're too happy, boy. You should have got soft reset it on. Because I messed up. I done goofed. Alright. Take two. This is, in my opinion, one of the more particularly more stressful stages in the run. Because there is like no leaf in sight, and if you only have one leaf. Okay. Dang it. I don't want. You're slow. I know what I just did was extremely slow. But uh safety first. Because I could have gotten that and that would save me some time in the next level, but safety first. Basically what happened right there is I got stalled. Yo, why can't I make that jump today? No. Alright, we're just gonna accept our fate now. And we're gonna beat this level now, and we're gonna just pick one up in the next level. Yo, I can't believe I just did that. How did I fail that jump twice? That jump is not even difficult. Wish I had the fire. Boomerang suit, you'll do. Oh boy, here we go. This is about to be a crazy difficult level. <laughs> hey, hey, I got kills. Does that count for anything? Yo, I can't believe I actually have to do this stage normally now. Wait, there, there, might, there might be a chance at a leaf later on in this particular level. Which would be very nice. Right in here. Isn't it three of these? Yeah. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yes! Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm not so sad anymore. It's still ridiculously bad, but... <gasps> no! Please, God, tell me I got a checkpoint. God, please tell me. I just thought I was on the rope, and he just wasn't. God, no. I gotta redo the entire level again. No! Jesus, no. Jesus, no. Pick the metal up, Mario. All right, here we go again. Dang it. This is now the level I'll be practicing all night. This run just went smoothly of it. I'm gonna be quiet now because I gotta focus. This level is... Yay! No, I hated this level in the past. Have never hated it more. Not until I lost like a really, really good round to it. But see, if I missed that, boy, I would have screamed so loud, your eardrums would have popped out. And that's not an exaggeration, uh, any stretch of the imagination. Your eardrums would not be in your skull had I missed that jump. We're done with it! We're done with that level, okay. We lost about two minutes on it. But you know what? I'll take it. We're still on a decent run. <gasps> now he does not have any far further deaths in this run. We'll be good. This is World 7 2. Now there, there's a Pokey right there that I actually want to deal with, so I'm just going to kind of skip him. And then right here, there's a Pokey that I have to deal with, so I'm just going to do that. Did that kill him? Thank you, camera. Hopefully, around next year, I'll have editing skills, guys, because I'm taking a, an editing course, I hope, next year in school. <gasps> Shut up! 
That, that's when you know it's a close call, is when I screech like that, okay? I feel like a wee girl. Or it's just voice crack. Now then, one, oh. Good luck! Yay. Alright, go, go back down. Come back up. Go back down. Crusade without no, with no deaths. Feels like a whole new world. Alright, you know what? We lost some time. But, uh, we're alive. We're well. We're still way ahead of my PB, by the way, guys. Like, way ahead. My PB, I died on the final stage twice. I said on the stage like, before that once. There's some stages like 6-1 that you just don't want to die, even if you can soft reset like that. This is the ghost house. Which one in particular? Oh yeah, this guy. This is a pretty not threatening level. You actually want a tail twirl to get you in it faster somehow. Wow, I just went right underneath the block. And died because of it. Oh my god. Alright, this run just fell apart recently. Apparently, I know what I'm testing later on. World 6. Because I can't play it anymore. I practice every stage in this game more than once before starting a run. I get a practice run. Like, died maybe once. Definitely less than I'm doing right now. This is a miniature new optimization. We're just going to go on our Seriously, where is it? Did I get it yet? No, where is it? I'm jumping around. Where'd it go? Come on, where are you? That was really sad. I thought I could have gotten that a lot faster. And I need every little miniature time save we can get now because we're on a very good run with bad player in charge. Oh, come on. And then I didn't even tail whack for that one rip. I know you're spoopy, but just leave me alone. Yeah. Ah, I missed him. <laughs> you can whack him in the face, and that's like tradition. That like, if you watch like, any of Cosmic Runs, he always hits him in the face, and... I wanted to hit him in the face, I just missed. Yeah, I missed. Shut up, I know, I'm bad. I have not ran this game forever, but if I can get back into it, hopefully this won't keep happening. Like, I'll keep failing on every single level. Okay, I think now that I think about it, I think this next stage up has such leaf in it. Yeah, it does. It doesn't waste that much time either. So we're just gonna kinda run here. I'm just gonna tail whack and kill them both. Dying is kinda bad, actually, because uh, you need lives in this run, actually. <laughs> You actually do need lives in this run, so dying is kind of crucial and bad. Hmm. Which level am I on? Sure thing, neighborino. Or sorry, it's your deadly neighborino. I actually died there earlier and Dang it! <sighs> Alright. 
I guess I practice the opening half too much. I'm gonna practice the six on a lot, a lot later, apparently. Alright, this is a six airship. Actually, another level where you can get a free of free leaf in it. This was also free. Oh, I thought it was like free to me just not going. I'm clicking! <laughs> Alright, so this is an auto scroller, one that you actually can't skip because you need some of the platforms in it to make sure it's a level. But there's a little end part that I'm gonna go for a skip on. Hopefully it doesn't cost me too too much. More importantly, I should better not get hit in the boss fight in this level. The boss fight's not that bad. Oh, Jesus, I fell in the pit. Forgot how to play this game for a second. I just took him out because I didn't want to even deal with that guy. Trust me, that guy's ended a lot more runs than I'm willing to admit. But so once this one closes here, we're going to go free. Miniature nothing skip because you got hit. No, I'm not lying. What actually killed me? Like, bro, what killed me? If Cosmic, if you watch this run, tell me. Please. What killed me? Somebody in the comments. Somebody, I need I need help. What killed me? Like, I honestly don't know. I was bo I, did I go too fast for the level? Rip that strat, apparently that strat's a lie. No, I've done it in every run ever. I'm like, I can go ahead of the stage everywhere else. Apparently in that one spot, you go just a teeny bit too far and the game just says, no, you die now. All I did was I went up here, you, you wall kick there, grab that metal, you land there, you jump. Jesus. So this is Pom Pom. She's kind of a jerk. She's Boom Boom's right hand gal. We don't like her. But we also enjoy like teasing her a little bit and like... WHAT?! NO! What 7 1? God dang it, I'm gonna go back to stage 1 1 after this. Because it's faster to go back to stage 1 1 and get more power ups than it freaking would be to finish 7 1. Now to watch me go back to a 7 1 because it's faster than to finish this next stage. It's faster to go back to, to one one than it is to finish the next level. The next level is a major skip, and it's it's fast, but not to the lead. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go back to one one and get another leaf, two leaves because you can do that. And it's gonna be fast. Jesus, that was so dumb. But I'll get it the right. Seven one's like not even a real level. Now she's trying to flee and the whole gang is after her. I swear, if I don't break my horrible PB right now, I'm gonna be like disappointed in myself. I'll probably never see another run of this game. I was even slower, I use that. Uh Hope you guys like this level enough to watch it again. Cause that's what you're doing now. I, like, I swear if that fish just came out of the water and smacked me. Luckily this level's not very long. I've done fast. And like not done with getting medals and everything. You just do it fast and uh, don't give a care in the world. It's kind of a short stage. See, that wasn't that bad, right? Like, that was a fast run. 
We need to get the medal and everything else on stage. <sighs> we'll be back at it in no time. We were even here before the next minute. Like, we're into this level before even 50 minutes into the run. So this, welcome to a very, very boring, long auto-scroller. Like, not even auto-scroller, just very, very long, boring water level. It's done already. That was bad. That was eight seconds. No. World record's five seconds for that one. The only optimized level in the game. That one. Mm-hmm. Alright, so now back to an actually tough stage. But that level, I don't, like, the reason I went back to one once, because I don't even know how to do that level normally, because I only know that skip. I haven't done that stage normally in a good year, two years, so. Like, I don't even know what that stage looks like anymore. It's like, now I just do that skip every time I go through there, so. You can't even, like, expect me to, to play through that level without having that skip. And it's faster even to go back to one one. And grab it than it would be to play, because that stage normally, and I know that from facts. Don't ask why. Plenty of batter rounds in the past, okay? And, alright, we didn't wiggle it enough. Sometimes you can wiggle it just right, and wow. That sounded really bad. Yeah, these blue things are like a very common thing in this game. Why? I don't really know. But the, the leaf just makes everything so optional in this game, as uh, one of my friends told me. It's like, this game, it's like, it's not even like. A glitch game, it just... Leaf just makes everything so optional. But then we have a really, really clean stage. So you know what? Maybe I'll make the time up. <sighs> if you guys are thinking that Final Bowser takes like seven minutes, don't worry, it doesn't. It takes like three seconds. We don't do Final Bowser in this room. It's like 52 now. The so world record ends this run in four minutes, but we might still be on a decent time. I don't know. So uh, there, there's also a strat right here that you can use a mole dude from, but uh, we're too professional to use that faster strat. Turn around already, you dumb mole. You know, mole hawk. Give me them coins, because I still need to have, like, 10 lives in this run. It's sad what I'm stressing about lives in this run. Oh, God. I only have, like, 9 lives to spare right now. I don't actually have, like, that many lives I can play around with. And then, like, one of the hardest levels done casually, I do perfectly. Because it's all optional, because it's stupid leap. This game is so well designed, it's so horribly designed. From a speedrun standpoint, it's like, one tiny mistake, you use, like, a minute. But then, it's like, casually, you're like, how do I beat this level? This level kills me all the time. Speedrun's sake, we're like, just skip it. All of it, entirely, just don't do it. No! Jesus Christ! I'm so bad! Oh. So bad. Well, it was going to become an active run of this game. You might not see that after. I don't know. They still love this game, but still. That death is just kind of like the salt in the wound I've been like waiting for at this point. I do so many hard stages like with, with ease. And then I go to like this really like chill, easy level and I die on it. You're like, this level's like main gimmick is that you have to go fast. But well, guess what we're doing? Going fast. So, it's not that bad of a level. And then there's a skip here that I can't do yet because I'm so bad. So, I mean, I used to, like, I, I developed, like, my own, like, mini skip here. I'm not going for it. Why? Oh, isn't it obvious? Oh, that's free. 
All right, we got like a 50. Yeah, we got a that time right now. So world record ends in a few minutes, but uh, we on the other hand don't end soon. Because they're like, oh, I wonder where you can save time. Duh, I know. Not die on every obstacle in the game. But I, I died on some of like the worst stages to die on. Like I picked some really nasty ones. I also picked some not so bad ones. I mean, in my original run, I died here twice, and I had to reset the, the actual game. This one is one that I would typically like play blind, but I'm not good enough yet, so uh, we're not playing some blind yet. It'll only be partially blind. I'm just gonna, you know, close one eye. Not what Cosmic KD does, except. Why do I keep calling those Cosmic KD? When is Cosmic D12? Boy. So here we're gonna use some camera manipulation, because we're still bad. To delay everything. Or not, that guy can just do what he's told not to do. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna just do like a miniature end skip. Dang it, dude, we missed. Rip. Kind of an interesting boss fight, actually. There's both of them in the stage. We got Boom Bam and the Pom Pom. So we're just gonna kind of do that, and we're gonna walk there and smack her. And then we're gonna want to set ourselves pretty much down in like this corner in kind of a weird way. Usually, actually, you don't want to set yourself in this kind of a corner. But uh, then we get to bounce off of Boom Bam and Rat. Sometimes she wants to go to the middle, and then that that and then it just works out like super well. But uh. Oh god, I forgot she does that now. I'm so used to doing boom boom, like so much worse. Dang it, I slid. I had the right location and then I slid over it. Rip. You see, I didn't get it that time. But I got it earlier in the run. I'll tell you guys when we hit one hour of the run. Not that much of the run left, guys. Just need to make it through that last part of it. We got two tails, both from leaves. <laughs> Biggest plot twist yet, Bowser has actually decided to lock her up finally. Welcome to World 8, guys. This 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 world's pretty crazy, okay? There's a major skip in one level, so I'm not doing I'm really, really bad at that one. That one I've been known for a while. That one's like an older skip, and I'm really bad at it. So we're here. We're gonna move in a very specific way to get that platform to lower there. And uh I know you don't need to do this yet, but uh we do it still, because I'm still bad at this game, okay? Oh, great. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that leaf. Heh, heh, heh. Pep, pear. Pep, eh, 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 So, uh, like, I, I will say this. So I, this I'm, I'm, I'm like, I've not done this round in a very long time. Oh, rip. That's so bad. Is there a spiny down here? Yeah, alright, hit me. <laughs> Is there a spiny down there? Yeah, hit me. Hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Pretty much there's two shots to end that stage. I'm gonna take the safer one, which is this cannon, to shoot up there and grab the star metal. And then, yeah, actually, I went around the points, but I know I did that trick perfectly. Then you, you grab there and you just want to jump off. 
That's a safer strat. Then there is the cosmic way where you jump off, tail whack, grab the metal, and fly barely to the end of that platform. We're, we're very close to hitting one hour, guys. One hour in the making. Actually, this video's already over one hour, but uh, the run's not over an hour yet, so... Uh... And one hour! We've officially hit small record time. Got around 16 minutes now to complete this game, boys. So there's a trick that you can do with one of these dudes and save a bunch of time and skip this entire poll. As I mentioned, I can't do it. I, I just can't. You, then you land on that little thing, and then you just proceed to fly from there, and I just, I can't, boys. I practiced that strat for hours. I still can't do it. I think we'll say this game is not that bad to get into. I picked it up relatively fast. And it's a very fun. I'm just gonna grab this pole because I don't trust myself at this point. I used to think I was good at this game. Now I have questions. I'm just gonna get these guys the old fashioned way. That's the, uh, we don't wanna die way. Now, if you don't know how to long jump and you try to play this game casually, it's kind of actually can be a nightmare. Not knowing how to do, like, long jumps. Considering how, like, vital they are to a lot of parts of this game. Now, don't, don't think we're not gonna grab onto this thing. We, we, we reach them all. There's actually a horrible green death flavor. Shout out to the Mario 1 runner and the Mario 2 runner. Alright guys, we have like five stages left in the run, if, if I'm thinking right here. So I think we have that one and that one that- we only have four levels- no, we have five levels if I think correctly originally. <sighs> can they be done in the time limit that I'm pretty much set for myself right now? Yes, they can! Because Bob the Builder. We have to pick up the next 12 star medals, right? Yeah, we pick up the next 12 star medals, and that gets us to 100. Hopefully, I did something very wrong in this run. You guys stay back. I never gave you permission to move again. Did you not listen to the song I sang you? Stay back. So we're just gonna look in this particular direction right here, which uh, pretty much prevents that wall. Uh, maybe I did it the wrong direction. Rip. Like I still have confidence in me doing like advanced strats, and that's not even like a difficult strat, but I still have confidence in, in me doing it right. Sorry about that, I have to like scratch my face. And uh, I was not like stopping this very precise strat. So we're not killing the, peek the peekaboos, we're just sending them through us and then they reappear on the other side of us. Sadly, they're unkillable, unless you have a star. And uh, this is potentially a difficult part, casually. Not speedrun wise. We just skip the rest of it. Alright, guys. Four levels left. One, not that stressful. Two, crazy stressful. One, could be difficult. Like, died the final stage. Could be difficult. Could be very easy. One scary trick. Ah, oh, bad RNG, boys. No, it's because we died at some of the earlier stages. That's bad RNG. That's sad. All right, so this is like Bowser's, like kind of like last ditch. Keep him out of my fortress, kind of stage. And it involves the new gimmick to this game being the flip platforms, as always. Bowser, you know, he loves his gimmicks. We get bullet bill jump right there. That's really nice. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. I don't care if I bonk, don't care at all. And we're gonna grab that metal. And then we're gonna grab one that's also kinda new to this route. Which is this metal over here. What do I get there? Then there's me who goes, I've never actually used this route before. 
Hey, we can get all the kills we want. So then there's like newbie me. Where are they? Oh god, there they are. No rip. That's fine, actually. We're gonna make it to those blue platforms. That's fine. All of this is perfectly fine, actually. Do not worry about any of this. This was all fine. Taking those hits, literally. If I was gonna get hit, that's the best part. Okay. Three levels left. Only one, and now that is ridiculously stressful. And if I mess up the crazy, crazy stressful stage, uh, I, I pretty much just lose the room. Alright. So this is, uh, final Bow Wow. Or not Bow Wow. This is final Bow Wow. That's the final level. Fake finals level. Good. We have 94 star medals. Good. The new route was efficient and worked. So, um, a good thing about this game, as long as you forget which direction you actually have to go in, because there's lots to remember. If you watch Cosmic Run, you know exactly what's about to happen, but, uh, it's, it's kind of a complicated game, at least if you got some weapon. Oh, dang it, I died. <laughs> come on, I can't believe I died. Oh, come on, you know, yeah, I can't believe this. Are you guys haven't caught on yet. You, 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 this is the three. You died ten times here. Because then have made the stage way too hard. <laughs> I died again. Number five. I was on such a good... We've actually never had a devil in this game. It's number five. That was doing so good. Oh, you've been giving us the golden ten new feelings. Oh, God, I died again. I was paying too much attention. Look at that beautiful art. Oh, God, I died again. That's number seven. Ugh, so bad. Oh, come on. Come on. It's not that hard. I tried an eighth time. Come on. Oh, my God, I tried a ninth time. Somebody help me. I swear, if I die a tenth... Fine. All right, fine. We're just gonna go ahead and collect these power-ups now. And no, we're actually not gonna use the peeling now. Back save for another level. Because guess what, guys? Your princess is in another castle. Grab that pole, Mario. You know, you know, you want to. Mario, we all know you want to grab that pole. Want to grab something else, but our princess is new. We're playing this really, really safe, by the way, guys. Like, you could be doing so much better strats here that we're just not taking because they're super scary. By super scary, I mean, uh, you can die. And, uh, dying is bad, and we don't want to die. So we're gonna press up against that wall, and we're not gonna get the metal. Rip. Funny strat here, we're gonna ground pound. This is this saves zero time, but it's funny. And actually get over here before Ralph responds. Fun little trick. Saves no time, but funny. Funny. Funny joke. Next stage. Just stressful one in the entire round, I think. Because it's the only one that's like literally final level. Well not even final, just like one before the end. And if you die, like, you lose your only leaf. And then you pretty much gotta go back. A ways. <gasps> Get another leaf. Bowser, where? All right, level over. Bust the ground beneath Bowser. Doses, my dude. Doses. So if I die in the next level, like I have to pretty much just reset, like do a soft reset again. How like intensely difficult that next stage is without a leaf. Like I'm not even gonna go for like the actual good strats on it either. Like I'm just gonna play it safe. And... Really, Peach. I bonked on your cage. Next time we're gonna break out. Move out of the way of your cage, at least. Girl, come on, girl. We're gonna do some funny stuff. You can do BLJs, by the way, up those, those stairs. <gasps> it's a Maya girl. It's 109 and the time at 8 to 9. 105, 106, 7, 8 to 9, the 9, the 10, the 10, it's now it's an 11. How'd you guys like my princess? Roar. Mario! Oh no! My voice is cracked! He says it! He says it.
All right, two levels left. Seven minutes break PB. Very doable. Like, extremely doable. This is a really sad run, by the way, guys. Don't ever take this for example. It's not run. You have six minutes slower PB. I swear, if you get another, uh, don't forget to take a break sign, I'm just gonna kill myself. Why is our golden power up? Why isn't the game so let's keep it? Enter. Stressful level run. And no, we're not gonna use the gold. We're not gonna use the penguin here either. Because that is saved for final Bowser. You skip him. Saves you a lot of time. Alright, cool. We got the first difficult strat in the run. And this is the regular stage. We're not gonna go for the crazy strats. There is some mad strats you can do here. I am like, I enjoy doing them. They're fun. Not when you're on a run like this and it's trash and you don't want to die again. So we're just gonna play it slow and steady. Slow and steady here. Because this is the actual tough part of this particular level. Is this long jump. Now for the ending cycles. Just need to fly here. Hit him. And we should rotate this around, grab the star metal. Yo, we beat that level. Okay. Let's go. Never see that level again until next next tomorrow. Five minutes left. To break the PV. Let's go. Hopefully next time we do a run this game, we won't die a thousand and a half times. We have exactly our 100 medals to unlock this level's bars. So this is the real mini route. Now we have we have four minutes left to break our PB. We can totally break it still. We could also not break it. Uh, wipe off my fake mustache and uh, continue this run, Mario. I'm gonna take a little bit of a breather here. I might as well look at the game. You make those noises, Mario. You position yourself, myself. We, we use very specific positioning here to dodge all of these fire yumbles. And then once we dodge that, we're going to recall to the back. Run up front. And that's not even, and like, there's actually a skip to skip that opening auto scroller. I am so bad, though. We don't take it at this point. I can't, I can't even do it. Like, that's another skip I spent like an hour on and cannot get it. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit right there. And I know that wouldn't have been that bad, but uh, it still would have scared me, you know? All right, the run is almost over, guys. Do not fall asleep. So we skip final battle. Okay, good. We're gonna dodge all the fire yumbles. We have literally two scary cannon shots left for the end of the run. And I swear, if I die on the cannon shots, you're gonna th see me throw my 3DS at the wall. These are the dumbest thing that kill world record runs for this game. By the way, one of those toads has a, a one up in him. We're just gonna do it perfectly. Ring one. Only non-optimized part of this game is these rings. PB hype. Oh, we got it. Okay. Because if you miss it, sometimes you can see where I land. Yeah. You miss it. Sometimes you fly and you don't end the stage. And, uh, all right. Time on the flagpole grab. There's not much left to this run. You guys like Mario Sunshine, this looks familiar, right? Oh. Ah! Hello, Petey Piranha! 
right now you guys can see me start mashing here. What I'm attempting to do is... Activate the P-Wing uh, pretty much a second after that fight. And, uh, deuces! All right. There's the final time, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you guys in another video. It's been Sonic Gamer 277. Bye.